Are you dressed? It does not matter whether it is your training clothes or not, just as long as you are covered. Then open the door. I need to speak with you. Hold off on changing. We won't be going to the study room for now. There is no need for apologies, apprentice. I am not here to scold you. Well, when was the last time you had something to eat? Hmm. I will have the staff remake your breakfast then. Do you have any preferences for today, or would you care for your usual meal? Mind you, it will be more today to make up for your dinner last night. So best choose something you enjoy. Hmm. I will see to it that it is made then. One moment. Yes. Add extra fruit as well, and have my usual tea delivered with it. There. Your breakfast should be here shortly. Well, it is my best interest that you remain healthy. If you do not eat, you will be more prone to illness. It would be customary to say that good food chases away evil spirits. So, for your understanding, let us say that it may also ward them off before they come. <laughs> it may not have much basis in academia, but this is not the time to discuss the workings of the human body. Even in your best health, I am not here to teach you medicine. We have other majors for that. Hmm. Regardless, it will do you well to eat. And I will make sure that you do so before we proceed with any lessons, if you so desire. Well, any time lost will be made up for, whether it be today, tomorrow, or any day that you are feeling well. Rest assured, we will get back on track. I need your mind to be clear of any negativity. If your thoughts are elsewhere, then you cannot learn properly. Well, I can provide some reassurance, if that is what you need. It may put you more at ease. Hmm. I am well aware of what transpired whilst you were out at the festival. Your escort has already provided a statement on the matter. Any comments made by one of His Highness's bed warmers should never be taken to heart. Their minds are as crass as their purpose for being here. The sheer audacity that any one of them would compare themselves to you when they willingly waste their gifts for the sake of entertaining a man who couldn't bother to even remember their names. <sighs> you my apprentice, have value that is far beyond anything that they can ever hope to achieve. You have taken great strides to cultivate your power. You give back to the kingdom that provides for you. You do not take advantage of its generosity. Within you lies a purpose. All they have to offer is a pretty face. Hmm? Do you take issue with that? And what is your concern? Hmm. You are perfect for what I need you to be. In your abilities and your looks. Well, your looks are fitting for an apprentice in my service. I cannot say the same for anyone else. Yes, being the only one does leave little room for comparison. So consider yourself the standard to which others must hold themselves up to. <laughs> Are you fine with being seen by staff at the moment, or would you prefer it if I received your meal on your behalf? Very good then. Come in. That will be all. You are dismissed. The warmth should help to ease the stress and better your mood. Best to finish it before it gets cold and avoid having to call in staff to reheat it.
it will lose its taste. The palace holds a high standard for its cuisine. Dishes will not be served below their highest standard. Proper meals lead to proper staff. Well-being is essential. Yes, you must eat all of it, else you make yourself more prone to illness. And I will personally see to it that you do. Pay no mind to me, I will have my tea to keep me preoccupied. Staring at someone over a meal is improper, after all. That isn't to say that this meal will be unproductive. There are lesson plans to discuss. You need only listen while you eat. I only ask that you answer with any questions you have. There are a few objectives to go over for your upcoming lesson. That way, when we begin, we can devote the time to practical applications. For your next lesson, you will be creating waves along a body of water. We will start small with a bowl of water and work our way up from there. I've moved some lessons around in the schedule so that we are still completing objectives in the same time frame. <laughs> Normally I would be against skipping ahead to elemental reactions, but I thought it best to provide you with something less intensive. I would rather you make progress with simple tasks than struggle to concentrate on more complex actions. Mastery can wait until you are at your best. The schedule is strict in the long term with what I expect from you by the end of your studies, however, it is up to my discretion how I go about determining the order in which you learn these concepts. <sighs> there is still work to make up, simple as it may be, but if you wish to view it as a break then by all means. I believe that you have worked hard enough to deserve it. And no crass comments can ever change that. I thought I made it clear that your looks are exactly what they need to be as my apprentice. You are not here to be a decoration for His Highness to gawk at as he pleases. <sighs> the only person who needs to look at you is me. There is no one else you need to live up to the standards of. Of course. That is how it has always been, and that is the way that it shall stay. Your only job is to serve me. There is no point in you being under the gaze of another member of the royal family. They have their own staff to be concerned about. <laughs> I think you are lucky to not be under the service of anyone else. They give little care to those that serve them. But it is inevitable when you have more staff, and since I have fewer under my service, I am able to provide more personalised care for each of them. At my own discretion, of course. Well, I care very much for your well-being. You are part of my legacy. There is no room in history for me when I have no existence in the outside world. My role of princess, the name of Zena, carries no weight in the line of succession. So having at least one person remember me when I'm gone is worth treating you well. <sighs> when you come from a line riddled with illness, you have to wonder how much time you have left in the world. Do not fret, I shall teach you all that I know whilst I still can. That is why you must continue to learn, even if it means making exceptions by giving you easier tasks to complete. By all means, if you are feeling well enough for lessons today, I will reschedule for later in the afternoon. You can come to my office and we will proceed from there. But until then, relax and finish your breakfast first and foremost. Yes. My hope is that it will bring back the natural glow you have. Hopefully even more so like it is when you enjoy your lessons with me. 
Of course, my sweet apprentice. I always notice. Hmm.